Welcome to Watch Me Code. In the very first episode, I walked through the process of refactoring an existing plugin for Backbone. We looked at what it really took to move from one large monolithic object into a set of smaller and more focused objects. But I never showed what it took to get that project off the ground and built up to the point where we started. In this episode, then, I'm going to walk through the tools and processes that I use to create a new plugin for Backbone. So all of these gems that are installing right now, of course, came from the dependencies of the Jasmine gem that I put in that gem file. Now that I have that, I'm going to initialize Jasmine in the current folder. So my first real spec Let's start with a simple little input. When serializing a text input. I think it's value. To grab the value out of the element. Yep, there it is. So it's passing. All right, so that's a very simple first implementation here. So to package it up, I'm going to use a tool called Grunt. And you can find that at github.com slash cowboy slash grunt. Now this is a little tool that basically runs a bunch of steps and processes on some JavaScript source code for you to create a package and be able to, to give you a nice output that you can provide downloads or create Node.js, NPM packages, and other things like that. All right, let's see what happens when we run this. So we have a couple of warnings, missing semicolon. Move the invocation into the parens that contain the function. Yep, there it is. And with that being done, I now have an initial release of backbone.siphon. <laughs> 